Plastic and its pros and cons. Plastic takes hundreds of years to rot. That is the reason why they are such a big problem in garbage disposal. We use plastic for so many things in our daily life. Toys, shoes, bags, pens, combs, toothbrushes, buckets, bottles, water pipes. And even parts of cars, scooters, buses, refrigerators, televisions are all made of plastic. We can't even imagine life without plastic. But the use of plastic is not a problem. The main problem is not using the right method for its use and disposal. Some polythene bags that we have in our homes might not be suitable for storing food. Storing food in these bags might be harmful for our health. Disposing of such plastic bags and containers by burning produces harmful gases that could result in health problems, including cancer in humans. Throwing plastic bags carelessly on roads and other places results in their getting into the drains and clogging the sewage system. This could lead to the drain water coming out into the roads. A little bit of rain and this could result in flooding in cities, which further brings out the hazards of waterborne diseases. So how do we dispose of plastic sensibly to ensure it doesn't harm our environment? We must try to make minimum use of plastic. We should insist the shopkeepers use paper bags. We should carry along a cloth bag when we go for shopping. We should not use plastic bag to store our food. We must not throw plastic bags here and there in our surroundings after use. We must never burn plastic items. We must not put garbage in plastic bag and throw it away. And how should we dispose of the rest of our garbage? We should use vermicomposting at home and make use of our kitchen waste. We must recycle paper. We should use both sides of the paper to write and use the blank sheets remaining in an old notebook for rough work. Spread awareness of the necessity of proper garbage management to family, friends and others and encourage people to adopt proper practices for disposing different kinds of waste. The most important point to seriously think on is, the more garbage we create, the more difficult it will be to get rid of it. After all, we are responsible for the world we live in.